but be kind to yourself and really just kind of boost yourself up, man. You can do it, like you can do it. I, I don't know what the it is, but I feel like you can do it. If you've been telling yourself, I don't know, well, I know, and you can do it, but be kind to yourself, start there. Hello, welcome to my space. I'm so glad to have you here. I hope your day and week have just been amazing. You know, I like to talk about um, life advice. I like to talk about things that are gonna make you feel better or ways to improve your life, uh, at least from my perspective, at least. Um, so, you know, just take my words with a grain of salt. But today, I'm gonna talk about different ways for you to love yourself because you deserve love. And if there aren't people in your life that are gonna give it to you, give it to yourself because self-love is very valid. Self-love is very powerful. Like, oh my goodness, you really can't compete with the, the like loving yourself and being confident in yourself. That's you can't match that. Once you believe in yourself and you love yourself, there's nothing that can take away from that. So let's talk about some different ways you can love yourself. Okay, a very important way for you to love yourself, to start doing that, is to stop comparing yourself to others. Don't, I don't care what that person down the hall had, I don't care what your neighbors got, I don't care what this person's doing on social media, whatever, don't compare yourself. Don't, your journey is yours alone. There is no other journey like it. There is no other person like you. So why on earth would you compare yourself to anybody? You're unique, you're wonderful, you're beautiful. It doesn't matter what anybody else is doing. Focus on you. That comparison is probably not even what you think. What you think a person's doing probably isn't even the truth. You know what I mean? Especially if you're comparing your life to things on social media, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. A lot of people will see me on TikTok and they'll get an assumption about my life. And I'm like, look, man, I promise you, it's not the thing you're thinking. I promise you it's not. There might be some, some parts of truth or whatever, or some parts of things that are like accurate, like, oh, okay. But like, for the most part, you're not in my brain. So you have no idea what my journey is, what my struggles are. So don't compare yourself. You have your own struggles you're going to deal with. You have your own victories you're going to have. Focus on you. Focus inward. That's going to set you up for success. Be kind to yourself. That's the next one. If you really want to love yourself, you have to be kind to yourself. And I'm going to get specific. Wake up in the morning feeling like Diddy. No. Wake up in the morning, look in the mirror, and say, hey, I'm beautiful. I have worth. I have potential. I'm worth more than this bad thing that's happened. I, I, I mean more than these events in my life. I, I, I'm destined for more. Be kind to you. Show up for yourself. You know what I mean? Take care of your mental health. I've said it before, be around things that people are gonna make you feel good, not the opposite. But be kind to yourself and really just kind of boost yourself up, man. You can do it, like you can do it. I, I don't know what the it is, but I feel like you can do it. If you've been telling yourself, I don't know, well, I know, and you can do it, but be kind to yourself. Start there, start boosting yourself up. A huge way for you to love yourself is to face your fears. Know what they are, speak them out loud. Say them out loud. Know what you're facing that, that's kind of giving you anxiety. Know what the cause of your anxiety is because to know the enemy is to defeat the enemy. You know what I'm saying? The enemy is fear. So what are you afraid of? What's holding you back? Really nothing's holding you back, like metaphorically speaking, there might be financial things holding you back, but you know what I'm saying? Metaphysical. You know what I'm saying? Know what your fears are and face them, confront them. Feel whatever that thing is, okay? Feel it, know it and then let it go. Put it into the universe and say, nah, I'm good, bro, I'm moving on. That's a fear that's not gonna control me. Don't be controlled by your fears. Know what they are and learn how to navigate through them and around them and whatever. Feel them, process them, but confront your fears. Confront the thing that you're afraid to do. Do that thing because once you do it, you'll probably come out on the other side stronger, more equipped, and just, eh, that what, I shouldn't have even been afraid of that thing. I shouldn't have even been afraid of that thing, whatever the thing is. That's what happens to me a lot of times. If I'm afraid of something, when I fully just dive into it, I realize, oh, psh, that wasn't so bad. Or maybe it was bad, but you know something, I confronted it. So we move on. That, that'll help you. A really big way to love yourself is don't let outside opinions guide you. I've said before, like, it doesn't matter what people think, but like other outside opinions shouldn't be like influencing your decisions. Unless of course you've been causing harm or you know, whatever you got your, whatever. Outside opinions really largely don't matter because your journey is your own. So just like you don't wanna compare yourself to anybody, don't let their comparisons influence you. 
Because there are going to be, be people out there that aren't going to want you to succeed. There are going to be people out there that don't want you to do the thing. There are going to, there are going to be people out there that want you to su succumb to your fears. They don't want you to overcome them. They want you to succumb to them because they feel like they can't do it or whatever. They just don't want you to do it. Whatever the thing is, screw it. Who cares? Don't let outside opinions and feelings and all that stuff dictate your behaviors. You got to do what's right for you and what works for you and kind of stay focused on your path because... It's easy to get distracted and it's easy to like maybe kind of get overwhelmed with all the noise, but stay focused. If you can stay focused and just go the, you know, go the route, I think you'll be happier. And don't let outside influence and opinion dictate what you're going to do next. Unless, of course, you've asked and, you know, that's what you think to be the best move. But go with what you think is the best move. Sometimes that's going to align with outside opinion, but you got to know what's best for you. A huge thing you can do to truly love yourself Oh my goodness, allow for messing up, allow space for you to truly screw up, to make mistakes, to be wrong, to have to learn something because the only way you're gonna grow is if you are wrong from time to time. You gotta learn. How are you gonna learn if you know everything? How are you gonna expand if you've done it all? How are you going to truly accomplish more if you've never failed? I've been poor, so you better believe, I, man, when I have money, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing. When you've never known failure, you can't truly appreciate success. But when you failed over and over, or when you tried something that didn't go the way you thought it was gonna go, but then you do succeed, it's that much sweeter. It's that much more beautiful because you're like, ooh, I know what the other side of that's like. It sucks, but you know something? I didn't, I didn't experience that this time. I succeeded. Allow yourself to mess up because I promise there's a learning situation in that. You will learn, you'll grow, you're gonna expand. Look forward to that failure too. Because if you can fail quickly, it's like, oh, I'm gonna bounce back even quicker. The, the sooner you mess up, the sooner you're gonna succeed. That's how I like to tell myself. The sooner you mess up, the sooner you'll succeed. It's true though. A great way for you to love yourself is to trust your decisions. Don't gaslight yourself. Trust that you're doing the right thing. Trust that you've thought on it, you've made the right choices, you're on the right path, and go with it. Don't second guess yourself. You, I've said before in other videos, you know even when you don't know. So trust the decisions you've made. And even if you screw up, what did I just say? If The sooner you screw up, the sooner you're gonna succeed. So trust the choices that you make. Make good choices, but trust the choices that you make. Make informed decisions and just know that you are headed on the right path. And finally, the best way to love yourself is to put you first. That doesn't mean you have to be inconsiderate. That doesn't mean you have to be selfish, but like maybe a little bit selfish. Maybe don't give your energy to everybody and everything. Put you first. You deserve comfort. You deserve happiness, peace, respect, all of those things that you're so freely, willingly giving to other, other people, everybody else. But what about you? Put you first. Put yourself in the driver's seat, experience joy, and just like cherish the life that you're living because you can truly exceed your own expectations if you just believe in yourself and you put in the hard work and you know, don't let those outside, eh, they're always gonna be there. Focus on you, focus on what you know you've gotta do. And I promise, I think you'll be successful. I think no matter what, no matter what vi victory, or excuse me, no matter what failures you have, you'll still be successful. Anyways, that's uh, the list for now. I'm sure I could go on for you know days about this for how you can love yourself. Um, I mean, what, 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 did I miss anything? Is there anything you would add to this list? Please feel free to comment below, let me know. Um, don't forget, I drop new content every Monday and Thursday. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And you can comment below, say, I subscribed, I'd love to hear from you. You're beautiful, you're powerful. We attract love, light, peace, safety, and security. I will post more soon. Talk to you later.